Hi guys, this is Shiva. Today I am starting the TestNG video series. First of all, what is TestNG? Basically, this TestNG is a unit testing framework and NG stands for next generation, uh, which means it supports a lot of uh, concepts which we are going to use in the our project, right? So basically, this TestNG is inspired from the J unit by this at annotation. So we are going to write lot of annotations like uh, test before test after test so those things we are going to learn in upcoming videos so basically why we are going to use this test engine right so when you want to organize the set of test cases and execute those test cases in the form of sanitary testing smoke testing and regression testing right so when you want to talk about sanitary testing there will be set of test cases we are going to execute and smoke testing we are going to execute set of test cases and regression testing also you are going to write set of test cases like uh, for example for regression we are having 100 test cases so that we can create one job and we can execute it right so those things we can able to do in the test ng right so in this test ng it's going to support parallel testing cross browser testing priorities depends on methods and groups execute failed test cases and report generation so those things we can use it using the this test ng right so these things will not be supported by j unit right so we will see separate video for the difference between test ng and j unit so as of now we can say that these things like parallel testing cross browser testing priorities depends on methods executing failed test cases and report generation will not be supported by your j unit right as of now you can know that so we are going to see each and every concept in the upcoming videos right so let me explain how to configure this test ng in the eclipse right so uh, anyhow i have uh, deployed one video for uh, configuring a eclipse and configuring java and configuring selenium and we are going to use this test ng along with selenium right so it's a unit testing framework we are going to write unit test cases in our automation right so here in eclipse i will show you the eclipse right so you click on window then sorry help and click on install new software right so that's the first step you have to do and the second thing is that you have to click you have to give this link actually so this is the link which is used for install test engine your eclipse you can paste it here and it will show you here automatically you can click it you can show see for me i have installed the test engine for you i have i'm having the steps to install the test engine okay, so once you have given this link it will show like this then you just expand and click on next so you will get this this uh, slide this page and if you click on next you will get i accept then click on finish anyhow you will get this prompt so you can say that install anyway right so that it will install in your system it will take some time so once you have installed it will ask you to restart the eclipse not the system right so you can restart the eclipse then so if you want to ensure that whether the test engine is installed or not right so you can go like this window show view other than java i will show you once you have installed window show view then other then when you expand the java you will get this test engine so now it is available in your eclipse right so this is the way you can install the test engine in your eclipse so then once you have installed the test ng you are having the environment to execute the test ng related test cases now there is a jar file you need to configure so like uh, it's a jar file you need to configure along with your selenium right so i have the link so that you can able to download the recent version you just to copy it i will give you this link in the comments right go to here and paste it so that you will get that link okay so here you can able to download right so here download test ng so that you can able to download the jar file right you can place that jar file in the your 
folder so this this jar file will you will get it so here so that you can store somewhere in your pc okay so now we have installed the test ng now we are going to write the test script to execute your test case okay so let me write one small test script to execute the assertion okay you can go to file new then java project here you can give the name of demo okay so demo you just click finish it off then you can new then package you can give the name of demo then click finish then new here you will get uh, otherwise i will give you one more option go to test ng then create test ng class so this is the way also you can create because you know you can create from here or you can create from java class both are fine so when you go to right click on the package then test ng then test ng class so these are the annotation we are going to learn in the next video right so as of now we will write basic test case right? whether we have installed properly or not right so um, class then you can give i will write um, test ng demo you can write like that so when you write a test ng there is no need of writing the main method right so that's what the advantage of using test ng there is no main method in your test ng class it will identify automatically right so here what i am going to do is there is a basic annotation called test okay so what i will do public void you can write validate um, title so i am going to write this test method okay now you can mouse over on the test here you can write okay so we have not configured selenium as well as test ng right so right click on the project go to properties build path add external jars right so we need selenium also right so go to drivers selenium then add external jars test ng then test ng okay so apply and close so now you have test ng along with you now you can import test org dot test ng dot annotation so now this annotation got configured right so in your test script wherever you write this at test annotation then that will be considered as one test case right so that organization of test case we will see later so as of now when you write at test annotation automatically this method is considered as the one test script okay okay now what we will do is now you can write your normal method system dot set property set property you can write um in here when you are going to configure your chrome driver you can write web driver dot chrome dot driver so here you can give the link of your chrome browser where you have chrome driver link right you just copy it and you can paste it and you can give the link of the chrome driver guys already i have uh, the video session for videos all day have videos for configuring eclipse and java selenium within seven hours seven videos so if you want to know all those things you can go through my videos so that you will get more idea so it will be very helpful to learn your test ng right you can go through my channel so that you will get more idea so now here i have configured the system dot set property now the next step is you can web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver of okay so here so once you have gone through your selenium videos 
you can start with the test engine so because this is very important so here um, you can write we are writing this code for launching the browser so here we need to open the URL okay so here open URL so you can write driver dot get here we can give the link which I have is automation practice that so most of the videos I have used this site only so it will be very helpful to you to complete to learn the selenium right so now I want to maximize so that is normal code we have maximize okay so here you can write driver dot manage dot window dot maximize so now you are maximizing your browser so now I want to get the title of the page right so you can string equal to driver dot get title so you will get the title of the page then what is the this is um, okay this is the expected no this is the expected title right so you can write expected title you can get from the page by right click view page source you can copy this and you can put inside this okay now we are going to asset right so we have assertion to validate asset dot so this is the supported by your test engine okay? asset dot asset equals so what is the actual one so this is actual so this is actual sorry this is your actual title and this is your expected title okay so you can put it here and you can put it here. so here what will happen is when this statement getting failed automatically the whole test case will get failed that's called you know we are going for the assertion right so it, which means the assertion means we are going to validate whether the test case is passed or not see how do you know that uh, whether your title is uh, equals of your expected one so we need to get the title of the current page by using this and from the driver so anyhow this is your, this already you know this is a test data so using this get title method you can get the title of the page right so when you can equate these values so that this asset will apply so that i will show you whether this test case is passed or not right so now i am closing the driver closing the browser right you can closing the browser okay so you can run in as test engine okay so now you will get uh, now this test case will get passed because it will consider whenever you write test case inside the attest annotation so it will consider as the one test script right so when you execute the test case here you can able to see yes this test case got passed now so validate title is your test case validate title and it is green which means it get passed so how it how it's known as how it is identified as your test case got passed this asset method right so when you are not having this line also you are not asset anything but still it will get passed right it's not necessary to have the asset but as a tester you should validate right whether you are doing properly or not right so anyhow you can write if condition also but we are having unit testing framework test ng now from now you have to use asset dot asset equals right so one more thing is that asset dot asset true that we will uh, 
see the next video so as of now you just to focus on assert as a takeaway so when it will get failed for example i'm having my store one so automatically now that getting the titles from the browser and your expected data will be different automatically this test case will get filed right so you can execute this so that you come to know this test case will get filed now right also i will show you one more why it is um, getting filed and all So it's taking time to load. I think my network is internet connection is it is slow today. That's what it is taking time to load the page. Okay. Now the browser is not closed, but if you can able to see, there is one failure in your test case. It got failed because when the test case got failed, it will stop the execution here. It won't come to the next. Next statement. This is one more. Uh, you have to remember when the asset got failed, it won't come to this area. Your test case got failed because the expected title and your value should are different. Right? That's what this statement getting failed now. Okay. Let me show you when you remove this now, all the statement will get executed. Then your test case will get pass. Okay, so this is what I, that's what I'm saying that asset when the asset getting failed, that no other statement will get executed for the particular test case. All right, so now the test case got passed. So this statement got passed, and it is coming to here, and it's closing the browser. Right. So this is what I want to show you in this video. Right. So here we are setting the property, and before I want to show you one more. So here when you say at test annotation. Now this method is considered as the one test case. So one class can have any number of at test method. For example, if I write as at test, I can write public void um, my test two. Okay. So here I will write. I will show you asset dot. Asset two. Okay, so here I will write false, which means now this this. So I am making this test case fail. Okay, so now which test case will get executed first? Okay, I will tell you. So it will compare the first character of the method. For example, here yum and here b. So alphabetically, M will come first, right? So this this test case will will execute first, then this execute will get second, right? So when you right click and run as test engine test, so now this test case will execute first, and that test case will execute second. Okay. So um, see here, there are two test cases. What's the first test case you can able to see here? Say it. So I will tell you. I told you right. It won't execute by like this by order. So it will go to the alphabetical order with the each and every test case. Okay. So it got failed because mandatorily I am getting failed because I told you right. Asset dot asset equals and asset dot asset true. So there are two things are there. We can able to we can use it for the assertion, right? So when the method returns boolean value, we can equate directly over here. Okay. So this method, that line giving false. So this is making false for the particular test case. Okay. So it's getting failed, and this got passed. Okay. This is what I want to show you today. So um, there are two test cases. One test case getting passed, and one test case getting failed. For example, if we make it pass, no, that's fine. So here run as test and test. So now there are two test cases. The two test cases is going to getting passed, right? Mm -hmm. It will get maximize and close. Okay. Now my two test cases are passed. Okay. So here we are setting the property where my Chrome directory is located, and I am launching the browser. I am going to the particular location link, and I am maximizing the browser. 
and I'm getting the title of the page and this is my actual title and this is my here I'm getting the expected title and this is my actual title here I'm equating that if get failed then the test case will get failed okay and the second test case I'm making pause and this is what I want to show you today in next video we will discuss about the annotations used in the test engine we will go one by one I don't want to confuse you so anyhow uh, continuously I am uh, you know deploying the videos uh, in the different uh, concepts like uh, parallel I am doing database testing videos parallel I am doing the test engine and parallel I am doing the interview questions also so that parallel you can learn all those things right okay so in next video we will discuss about the annotations used in the test engine so thanks for watching i hope you like this video please subscribe my channel and like and share this video for others thanks for watching